So we're continuing on with our look at patterns, um, expressions, variables. Does anyone know what the difference between an expression and an equation is? One of those is an expression, one of those is an equation. Which is which? An expression is this part. An equation equals equation has an equal sign. An equation is complete. An expression isn't. A variable is just, it's something that we don't know. We use letters to represent the number that we don't know, and we usually use letters that are close to what we're trying to represent. When we say that A equals B times H, we're using letters that represent concepts. Okay? A represents Area equals base times height. So we use variables that represent the concepts that we're describing. If we're looking for the number of tables times six students per table, we've got N for number of tables times six students per table. Is this an expression or an equation? Expression or equation? <clears throat> Good. What's n? n represents the number of tables. For this equation to be true, n has to equal 5. Why can't n equal 4? If n equals 4, 4 times 6 doesn't equal 30. 4 times 6 equals 24. So n has to be 5. That's the only possible answer that will make this true. So we use variables and expressions to describe patterns. In this example, and we actually don't usually write it like this. Why don't we write it like this? That looks like an x. So instead of doing n times x, we do 6n. When you see the letter and no operation and then the number, it means multiplied by. 6n is 6 times n. If we know 6n, what happens if there are four tables? How many students are there? If n equals 4, students equals 24. If n equals 12, students equals 72. If n equals 10, students equals 60. Because 6 times 10 equals 60. So this expression helps us describe the pattern of students. If I have a classroom, if I have four tables and six students can fit at a table, then I can have 24 students in that classroom. If I have five tables, I can have 30 students. This expression helps us describe the pattern. So if we take a look at um, this, if we have two posts, what can we use? What variable can we use to represent post? P. P. Okay, so P equals post and R equals rail and S equals section. Looking at this, if P equals 2, R equals and S equals. <clears throat> so for every section, if you look at this, and I create a table, for one section, how many posts do I have? And how many rails do I have? Three. What about for two sections? Three posts and six rails. What about for three sections? Four and nine. What about for four sections? Five What about for five sections? Six and so let's say I asked you now, what about for... 15 sections. No, that's not a good one. I'm going to do 28 sections. 
28 sections. That's a long way to go one by one, isn't it? So let's create an expression that represents this. When s equals 1, p equals 2, r equals 3. Right? When s equals 2, p equals 3, r equals 6. What's the relationship between s and p? So s plus 1 equals p. Is that true here? There? 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 Okay, so we're probably, we're pretty right on that. Which means if we have 28 sections, posts equal? 29. Okay. <clears throat> What's the relationship between the sections and the rails? They have 3. Yes. Uh, plus three. Uh, so, 1 plus 3 equals? 3. Really? Four. So it can't be s plus 3. Because 1 plus 3 equals 4. Yeah? S times 3. 3s three equals r. Let's check it. 3 times 1? Good. 3 times 2? Good. 3 times 3? Good. Okay, we've done 3 of them, so it's probably correct. So 3 times 28 equals what? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Which means in section 28, if you were doing 28 sections of your fence, you're going to need 29 posts and 84 rails. This is why this is actually a useful thing. Because if you're building a fence and you're going to the um, hardware store, you need to know how much to buy. If you're making a bracelet, of different colors. You need to know how much thread to get or how many beads. Okay, This is um, pretty useful in an everyday life to figure out if this is how much you need for one, how much do you need for two, how much do you need for the 20 that you want to build. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this other pattern. Kitchen floor is being covered with red and white tiles. This is the basic design. Look at the first three designs, and we're going to make a table for red tiles to white tiles. Okay, here's our design one. How many red tiles do we have? How many white tiles? Four, four, and two. Yeah. In design two, how many red tiles do we have? Four. And how many white tiles? Three. And in design three? Six. All right. So describe this pattern. What's happening? In words, what's happening? Yeah. Okay. So um, four. Each Okay, so for each um, additional design, you are What's the difference between this and this? Two. So two. Two tiles. Give me an expression. Two. Two. Okay. Two times R. So R is doubling or doubling each time. No. Okay. So what's happening? Two plus R. No, no, R plus two. Yeah, R plus two. Because you're adding two each. Two How can you have R plus two? R is two. R, 
equals. How can you have r plus 2? r is 2. r plus r. r plus r. Okay. r plus r does not equal 6. Yeah? Two D. Okay. So R equals two D. Is that true? Is that true? Okay. So for each additional design, you are multiplying. The design number by two. That seems really complicated. Can we put it in a different way of saying? Can we say this in a different way? Please stop talking. Yeah. The design multiplied by two equals the amount of red tiles. So the number of designs multiplied by 2 equals the red tiles. Okay, what about the white tiles? <clears throat> yeah. The design multiplied by 10. Okay, so this tells us the relationship between the design number and the red tiles and the design number and the white tiles, but what if I want to know the relationship between the red tiles and the white tiles? How do I figure that out? If I have 24 red tiles, how many white tiles do I need? Okay, so the white tiles equals five times the red tiles. Sorry. Check. Okay, so then this is this is our relationship. So if I buy twenty four red tiles. How many white tiles do I need? 120. What about if I buy mm, 70 white tiles? How am I going to figure that out? Divide it. Good. This is, this is it. I mean, this is what you do with variables. All variables are, are in earlier years, they used to have like a little box, right? So you'd have box plus three equals six, and you had to figure out what the box is. Okay? It's the same thing. X plus three equals six. X equals... Two? Seriously? <laughs> 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 